This video is about making your own element types. You will find the place to define your own element types from the main element tools. And uh, my list is empty, no types defined at all. So what, what I'm going to do is two layer element uh, having some internal studying horizontally and then the main framing. Now that I have new element type here I'll go through this composite uh, settings. The first setting to set is the watching direction and in this case it will be from inside to out. Element type ID is actually only in this element list, the element type list and it links these definitions to placed elements. So if you have already placed calcframe elements uh, you should not modify this ID anymore. This element stamp text I'll put something, let's say XYZ, and it is uh, the text that will be here in the stamp in the elevation. And in this composite settings probably only the only thing you need to edit is this whether to show element type ID or not. These other settings they control uh, projections and to edit those maybe it's wisest if you ask help from us. So now I have the main composite settings here, I can start adding layers. Now that I don't have any, any layers here, it's the same if I select before or after. And now there is empty, no definitions here also for the layers, so this will open the layer setting. And since my list is empty, I need to add a new one. And let's say this will be uh, the studying horizontal I'll give some meaningful name here. Uh, this will be the thickness, thickness of the layer. First set the type, uh, what, what kind of layer this is. So this will be framing horizontal and this long means that uh, the horizontal pieces will go all the way to the left and right hand sides. And now go through all these settings. The density is uh, the average density containing insulation and all these wooden pieces in this layer. It's used in the listings. Layer thickness uh, will be the same as the material size in this case. And then I could set the different materials to the left and right hand sides. Uh, so this is the Swedish settings, uh, Swedish material list. Let's select this one to the left side. I'll leave these other settings untouched and the same size the right side. Also to the bottom we will use something bigger 45 times 145 and the top may be the same as the default material. This defines uh, how the horizontal piece is placed at the window top and bottom. With value 2 it will be only the window width, not all the way from the left to right. And this is, uh, in this case, uh, this is uh, the vertical piece. This defines that we will have the vertical piece on the left and right hand side of the window. Spacing, let's say, in this case it will be 450 millimeters, and this spacing tolerance means that if the stud is further than 20 millimeters, from the supposed place there will be another stud placed. And finally the main material ID. I could set some options here but for this horizontal studying there is nothing needed. Okay, now we have the first layer and we will leave these co composite settings to be set at the end of this process. So I'll add uh, one layer after, the, after this one and edit slash new type now I need to remember to click this new because I'm not I don't want to edit this existing one but add a new one. Uh, this will be just normal framing. And uh, you should have some meaningful ID system, for example this the main material of this framing layer. Okay, again thickness, spacing 600, that's okay. Material will be 45 times 195. No settings here. 
and the bottom and top will be the same. This, in this case we will use special uh, bottom structure, so I will check this option on as a default and alter settings to this. So original at the bottom is uh, the lowest piece in the element and we want it to be 45 times 45. And this double, this special, we want to have a thin piece here. And this defines uh, the distance of the piece uh, looked from the element watching direction, so looked from inside. And this time we want this 45 times 45 piece to be at the, at the back of this element, so we need to specify 150 millimeters. Uh, this comes from 195 minus 45 millimeter thickness of this specified material here. Okay. Now we have this layer defined. And now we need to specify the layer types. Okay, this main framing. This is not main framing, but this is studying interior. And we are looking from inside, so this will be uh, the anchor name. Look from inside. So front side is studying inter interior and it will not follow any layer, it's independent of this main framing and this will be, let's say, framing interior and framing exterior. Okay, then we will place this element to this empty wall place here. I'll use Arcframe selection tool to navigate the floor plan so now I know that it is this wall and I will place this uh, this wall we defined. Check what is the height used in this. So let's use the same height as this one has. So we'll force the top to 2535 and this is the type and we are going to draw the framing interior line a line for that framing interior layer and let's see some more settings <coughs> I want this to be in their own floor no change to this and let's force oversize to the openings 50 millimeters and the, the rest of settings they are okay then I will add a new element using the line so I'm pointing now the frame interior side of the framing. Click that one and then uh, the interior side from here to here. Okay, I can see there is a mistake in the net definition. I need to go back and edit the definition. The thickness of this layer was not set correctly. It should be 195. Okay, now it's fixed and I can create planks. Now I want to have uh, only the pieces related to these two selected element layers. So I can, I can actually select show in 3D, it will show the planks for this element type in 3D. So this is uh, the bigger bottom piece, uh, slightly bigger side pieces which are cut to these. That, that is the template name framing horizontal long that comes from that these horizontal pieces come all the way to the right and left side. Except that the op openings they will end next to here because this can be easily nailed. Okay, and the top side, that is just the default material. And let's have a look at this uh, bottom of this element. Okay, that is the 11mm piece and this is the small piece.